Local FM Live here at Veterans Memorial Park in Sierra Vista, the home of the Huachuca Art Association, Art in the Park. It's the 52nd year this Saturday and Sunday at the park, and we would like to see you here. We're going to talk all about the big event this weekend with Lois Bravo. Of course, she's the chairperson of the big event. Lois, talk about the event. You've got how many vendors and where are they coming from? And what's the variety like for this year's Art in the Park? Well, we have 151 to 52 vendors coming this year. They're coming, as usual, from New Mexico, from uh, Colorado, Washington State even. Isn't that exciting? That's a long way to come. They've been coming about 30 years. And then we have um, the Tucson, Chandler, Scottsdale, you know, all the Arizona people too. So it's, it's a good turnout. And describe uh, what people can expect at some of the booths with some of the uh, vendors uh, this year. So this year we have uh, some new painters that have come with their art. And it's kind of nice to see a new variety. And you know, a lot of times people are complaining we don't have enough fine art. Well, this year we have some really nice fine art. Plus we have a couple new photographers. One, he's rented two booths and he, I said, oh, the sun will be in your face. He said, I don't care, the sun, I like the sun in my face because it shows my, my photography beautifully. And of course we have a lot more wood vendors this year because it seems like people are retiring, coming here, and the hus the men are getting into doing it. You know, walking canes, wooden spoons, dog bowls, uh, cutting boards, rocking horses. There's one vendor, they're new this year, They he's been doing rocking horses. So if you need a Christmas present for your grandkids, this would be perfect. And of course, lots we have lots of jewelry as always, and we have soap and lotions, um, and we have baskets. The basket people have been coming, I swear, 30 years. And she's here again to do baskets. And we have some apparel. And there's a lady that does, uh, she does shirts. She embosses them. And she wasn't here last year, but she's coming back this year. And we have some dresses. And so, again, we have a huge variety um, of items. Some of them you'll recognize. If you go on our Facebook, uh, Art in the Park Sierra Vista Facebook, you will see the art we have and the booth that they're in. So if you see something really special, then you tag that, write that booth down, and then you come to our information bureau. The one thing I would like to point out is that we do have no political solicitation in the venue. So if we want to make it a political free environment so people can have fun, go shopping, and so we would appreciate your help on this. And can can someone bring a pet or what's the rule on that? The pet is the dog is only supposed to be a certified guide dog or you know what do they call them? Uh, service dog. Service dog, yeah. Yeah. And so that's one thing that's important too because we've had issues with dogs getting sick or they want to get in a fight so we don't want that I know everybody feels their dog is the best but you know it's it's confined with a lot of people and it's not comfortable for the dog sometimes yeah and as far as the food vendors this year uh, talk about the variety of food vendors well we have rapid rapido again who does uh, I'm getting old. I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, sweet potato fries. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we have um, the vegetarian, and we have donuts. We have lemonade. We have ice cream. We have lots of pulled pork. Several people. Buzz dogs. Is that what he calls them? Yeah, buzz dogs. He's yeah, got he's hot dogs new. and burgers. He's new this year, so he'll. this will be his first he's time. He's very here. good, by the way. And then we have some Mexican food. Last year, one of the booths did these little shrimps. And I think they're coming back this year. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. And Julie and Sammy is going to be there as well with some treats. Yeah, they're going to do the ice cream and they're also going to do sippies. You know, uh, you know what I mean by sippies. Uh, fruit, kids love them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, those things. Those things. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hard getting old and you have short-term memory. <laughs> 
52 <laughs> years you've been doing this. No, I haven't been doing it 52 years. <laughs> well, the, the city has been doing it for 52 years. Well, the Washuka Art Association. The Washuka Art Association, yeah. yes. Yeah, and so I've been doing it 10. And, still, you know, yeah. I'm looking for somebody to help me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody wants to volunteer... <laughs> Just call me. Yeah. Just give you a call. So, uh, yeah, we're really excited this year. Uh, one of the nice things is there's a new coffee shop. It's called Razzle. It's on Fry's. And they've decided... Razzle Cast. Ra Razzle what? Cast. Cast. Okay. So they're going to be in this area here where we're standing. And they're going to have coffee because nobody has ever... They haven't had coffee. And a lot of vendors in the morning, when they show up, they go, where's coffee? So we're hoping this will be a real hit for them. They'll also get exposure for their business that they just started on Fry. And they're going to have all kinds of wonderful pastries. I saw some of them yesterday when I stopped by their store, and I went, whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, Razzlecast, delicious bakery items. Uh, so, yeah, when you see them here at the uh, festival this weekend, definitely give them a try. And they have gluten-free, too, for those of you that want gluten-free. Right. Yeah. We want to emphasize, too, Lois, this is a free event. This is a free event. We don't charge to get in. And so it's we ask that you park, um, you know, it's hard to park sometimes. Sometimes you have to go round and round, but you keep coming back. And then we have the wine festival again this year that the city's putting on. And that starts at 11 o'clock. I think it ends about 7. So we also, and that's been very, very popular in conjunction with us on Saturday. Yeah, that's worked out really nice, actually, to be able to, to, to do that. Right, it uh, has. From one event to the next, and, you know, so. So if you are finding that maybe Saturday would be a little too busy because I suggest you come Sunday because it I think it won't be quite as many people last year we had 12,000 people on Saturday and a little less and a little less on Sunday so you know you might think ahead and say maybe I'll wait till Sunday to go if you're worried about too big a crowds it gets underway at nine o'clock right Both nine o'clock to five Sundays 9 to 4. Nine we to break four. down at 4, yeah. Looking forward to it. This weekend, it's the Art in the Park by the Wachuca Art Association. And you've got that beautiful Art Association Gallery we feature once a month. Talk about the Art Association Gallery. Uh, that's located, uh, where is that located again? 18, and... 1835 Paseo San Luis. Yeah. And it's, I mean, this is our fundraiser to keep that gallery open and alive. So that's why this show is so important to us because then we have art for all year to share with the, the people that live here or if they live in Tombstone, Bisbee, wherever they, they are, they can come here shopping. So make a visit, uh, if you haven't been there, to the Art uh, Wachuca Art Association Art Gallery here in Sierra Vista as well. Uh, you guys are open Monday through Saturday, no, no. or is it? Tuesday, Tuesday through, through Saturday, Saturday, 11 to 5. 11 to 5. Right. And uh, you've got a number of uh, workshops, art-related kind of workshops that, that go on each month as well, too, that people we, can check out. We also out. have children's classes, and, you know, it would be nice if a few more parents would like to have their children do some art, that they're, they're frustrated little artist, and it's good. he's a very good teacher. Only $12 a, a, set, a day, and he has it Tuesday, and Wednesday, 4 to 5. Wachuca Art Association Art Gallery here in Sierra Vista. Support them as well. Check them out. We'll, we'll have the link in the post description here if you'd like to contact them as well. But this weekend is the big weekend. It's the fundraising event uh, which funds the Wachuca Art Association Art Gallery. And Lois, thank you so much for talking with us. We're looking forward to a great weekend. The weather looks like it's going to be great as well. Uh, so yep. it, it's, it's going to be fun. It will be fun. Thank you.